Good morning. It is freezing in Kentucky. I'm just kind of mellow this morning. I'm usually like, hee hee, waha. But this morning, I'm all somber. Uh, yeah, this morning I got up and I was, I realized I need, I realized I needed an ice cream scooper. And so I was like, oh, I need an ice cream scooper. So I started before I, I um, continued on with my Bible study. I picked up my phone and started going to Amazon. And I, I like, the Holy Spirit nudges me, uh, uh, uh. That is not putting the Lord first. And I was like, yes, I'm sorry, Lord. So I get back off of my phone. And I need to order my ice cream scooper later. I need, I need to order. I need to order all the cute things that come with keto because keto is freaking expensive. I did a video like a premiere introduction video the other day. I was really <laughs> weirded out in my house because this is where I'm used to doing my videos. This morning, I was listening to the story of Daniel because I was multitasking. Daniel you may or may not know, uh, interpreted dreams. Something I have never noticed. I guess because the United States has never been so split down the middle over who believes what and who wants what, and we are so divided. Nebuchadnezzar has a dream. He's really uptight about it and wants somebody to interpret it, but he doesn't he wants to know that the interpretation is real. And so, and it's not just showmen, people who put on a show for him. So, he says, I want somebody to interpret this dream for me. But before you interpret it, you have to tell me what the dream was. I mean, <laughs> they're all on the spot. What that means is, all of you fakes out there, and this is what the Lord just gave me. What that meant was, that because he said, I'm going to kill you. If you can't give me this, I'm going to kill all y'all wise men. That all of the people that he surrounds himself with to be wise himself. But what, what the Lord had just gave me is that the reason for this, you have to tell me what the dream was, was to weed out the fakes. <laughs> Have you ever heard of somebody say, I'm a, I'm a psychic? And they're like, hey, what's your name? You're like, well, if you're a psychic, don't you know that? So that's kind of what Nebuchadnezzar was, his point was, if you are, if you have been eaten off of my table, taking my food, and I have been letting you live in the lap of luxury, you know, all king, kings always surrounded themselves with with prophets and psychics, but there were always fake ones, false ones. And, and they usually told him what they wanted to hear, but he wanted to hear the truth this time. So he said, they have to tell him what is the dream. Nobody could tell him. And this is why they were going to go kill every single one of his advisors, wise men, people he had surrounded himself with. He put the order out kill them all. Murder everybody. I'm sick of these fakes. So, so Daniel is like, yikes, you know what? They may be fake, but I've got a real God. And if it is in his will, he will give it to us. So he said, just give me time. All I need is time. And the time that he needed was to pray. And later, an angel told Daniel, at the moment your prayer went out, it was heard, but he had been delayed battling the prince of Persia. This, this angel had been caught up in a battle somewhere fighting, uh, fighting principality. The prince of Persia, he doesn't mean the prince of Persia like the human. He means the prince of Persia like the principality demon. There is a battle going on. We know he is known to, to the heavenly realm. So Daniel, he says to his buddies that are there with him, As Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, guys, we gotta pray. We gotta pray and, and ask the Lord to give us an answer. 
so we can interpret this dream. And the Lord gives them the answer. Daniel goes back to Nebuchadnezzar, and Nebuchadnezzar says, do you have an answer for me? And Daniel, Daniel kind of puts him in his place on this. And I, I would just, again, the Lord is giving me a little bit of information here. And this is what I just got from the Lord. Um, he's putting the king in his place here just a little bit. He says, it's not possible for a human to do this that you're asking for. So you're, you're demanding way too much. These answers can only come from the Most High God. It cannot come from these guys here. So you making demands and saying you're going to, you know, put any and everybody down who can't give you this answer. That's, you're out of line, mister. But, I did pray about it and he gave it to me and now I'm going to give it to you. And, and he says the only reason he gave it to me was because he wanted you to have the information. Clearly, I'm paraphrasing, and I always do. And I love it when I am talking to you about something. I've been waiting for this. I've been praying for it, that the Lord would give me some more, some more information. I love it when he gives me understanding of something that I didn't know and that isn't in the Bible. And he just did that twice. So I'm, that, that's really exciting to me. And and lately, I recognize it a little bit more clearly. And uh, and it is happening more and more and more. Um, so I'm really excited about that. And he does blow my mind. And I hope the Lord gives me more information as we go through this. I'll let you know if he does. So this dream that he interprets for... Nebuchadnezzar is that there is a statue that is of uh, of massive grandeur and you know it's it's, it's a large huge statue and it has a gold head which represents Nebuchadnezzar says Daniel who says the Lord I'm skipping straight to the feet because that is what I noticed here that I have never realized before or thought about before until I realized I think it might be talking about the United States. The feet are made of iron and baked clay. He starts explaining all this and, and the different, you know, the kingdoms that will come after Nebuchadnezzar and these, the body and the legs and the feet represent the kingdoms that are going to come next. And but when he gets to the feet, he says the reason it's of iron and clay is because it will be partially strong like iron, but partially weak like clay. And it will be divided. It will not be able to, they will not be able to stay together. They, it, it will be divided. Well, and then, you know, uh, the stone, which is the Lord, crushes the whole world government. And it becomes like chaff in the morning when they process wheat the chaff is that stuff that just blows around in the wind it, they become like chaff chaff blowing around on the threshing floor so they are no more and you know everybody in every every age feels like maybe this is it could this be it could they could the lord be talking about us there are just there are spots in the bible that I, i'm noticing lately that kind of draw my mind back to the U.S. And then I saw, as I was doing a little bit, as I was looking up Daniel this morning, actually, I saw another video, Babylon to America, I believe is what it was called. And so I, I just wonder if they're going to hit on the same thing, that, that it, it may be kind of clear that the Lord's talking about the United States here and, and, um, you know, maybe this this not togetherness of late could be leading in a particular direction that is biblical. But you know what? It doesn't matter. There will be a rapture where the Lord takes up everyone who belongs to Him before all of the crazy hits. But even if, even if Christ doesn't come back during our time on earth you're gonna die in a minute you know I mean you know time flies so 
if, if, if it's going to be like a like that when the in it when you're an old person and you're sitting there waiting to die or you're on your deathbed you're gonna look you're gonna be saying that went really fast because you already know it does just yesterday it was 20 years ago or just yesterday it was five years ago or a year ago whatever give it some years on hand no none of this stuff matters as I as I always say and uh, have a wonderful day God loves you and uh, I, I pray for all of you that that your lives become wonderful through the Lord and the time that you put him with him because when you do when you put him first your life will become awesome that's just the way it is he promises so there you have it